to get that money was huge. I mean, it felt like just one small step uh, to receive a scholarship. I knew that I would have to apply for several because of where I wanted to go to school. And so every time I got confirmation that I was a recipient, it was just a wonderful feeling. I, after high school, I did get to go to Palm Beach Atlantic University and I started as a psychology major. And prior to that, I had been introduced to the Miss America organization, which is one of the world's largest provider of scholarships for young women. And so after my sophomore year at Palm Beach Atlantic University, I competed in the Miss Florida pageant and I won. I was Miss Florida 2008 and I did get to go to the Miss America pageant in 2009 and I placed fourth runner up. So I came just shy of that dream, um, but being Miss Florida really was a dream in and of itself. I ended up going to seminary. I got my master's degree in Christian ministry from Southeastern Baptist Theological Seminary in North Carolina. And that was something that was unexpected as well. I had come from a psychology musical theater background, but during my years Miss Florida, I really felt called to young people and I had the opportunity to speak a message of hope and inspiration to young people all over our state. And that is what I fell in love with. And I really felt like God had gifted me with a passion for youth and the ability to communicate with them. And so I figured, well, I think my next step would be to get a theological education so that I can continue to minister to young women and really make sure that I have a very solid education. If I could meet the donor of the scholarship, I would say thank you. You never know how what kind of a part you play in someone's story. So whether you're donating $10,000 $10, or $10, you know, every dollar counts and every dollar enables a young person's dream to come true. So I would just say thank you so much because that really enabled me to have freedom to pursue my dreams without having so many financial restrictions.